Hi again everybody, Boyd back with you and welcome to the Midnight Express on the Trekworks channel. Uh, I'm saying that because it's about 1.30 in the morning here my time. I've been putting in some time on this and gotten a groove and just kept on rocking on it. And I wanted to show you what I've been accomplishing here. Uh, this is a quick update for you. I've been putting on all these uh, beautiful Aztec panels on the side of this model now. I copied this pattern from uh, some work that people have done out there doing research to get these in the exact right spot and the exact colors that they're supposed to be. Uh, you can see I've got it on the top and the bottom here and just beautiful how they're turning out. I've got the different size patterns and different shapes. Some are overlapping the other ones and um, they're just turning out really nice. Back here I'll show you uh, if you can look on the fan tail a little bit there if the light hits it the right way. Those little streaks that are on the back that's my little tribute to Paul Olson. Paul Olson is uh, the gentleman who originally painted the model for Star Trek the motion picture and he added those uh, hand painted stripes there on the fan tail they were later replaced for some reason but uh, some of his original photos show that and so that was kind of my little tribute to him I just finished reading his book uh, painting the Enterprise and if you guys haven't checked it out it's available online as an ebook it's a fascinating read about his, him and his career and how he wound up painting the Enterprise and his beautiful artwork that he did on the original Robin Trower album covers if you're into old classic rock and roll you remember those great psychedelic uh, beautiful album covers they used to put out and that's the work that he did back in the day and uh, lots and lots of other work as well over here on the other side you can see we've got the panels done as well and um, just really happy with how that came out and so that's working really good I'll show you that in more detail we're still touching this thing up here and there, there are still a few imperfections I've got to fix a minor seam here on a couple of the edges of the dorsal and the, a little spot there on the top and uh, just cleaning it up here and there but I'll get it worked out really smooth and slick and then we're going to clear coat it all um, over here on the saucer I've been working on uh, getting ready to do the bottom on my next video update tomorrow I'll show you guys a, uh, uh, some work getting the um, uh, I'm using the masks now on the bottom of the saucer I'm not going to use the Aztec dummy set anymore at all they're just useless basically they they stick so hard on there even with the way the method with the water that I can only do a small section at a time before I gotta worry about them ripping my paint off so um, I'll be using that other set from now on. I've tried a little bit of testing with them and they work phenomenal just the way they should have been made in the first place um, here I'll show you the bridge at the back of the bridge here I added my little uh, piece in my extension piece if I can get this in the light here for you uh, and I've got to do a little bit of putty work on that to get rid of that little line but you can see I've got my airlock and my uh, photo etch parts on there I light block the airlock so that when the lights come on, on this you'll see the airlock illuminated and the little lights coming out next to it I've just got to add in the um, some fiber optic there uh, at the top for the strobe light and I'll be able to lock that down I also put some clear windows in it that I hand fabricated and uh, like I mentioned we're going to be going back after we do the main gold and blue pattern on the bottom we're going to do all of our tertiary colors which are adding in the the uh, red and the green pearls onto this that are going to give it that overlapping and also we're going to overlap some of the gold and the blue onto the other ones in small little sections and that gives you that overlapping 3d panel effect that we saw in the original model and uh, the Aztecs are just looking really beautiful on this then we've got to go up and do the pylons the thunderbolts on those and uh, the, the uh, detailing on the neck and everything. I'll be using the masks for all that. Let me give you a little sneak peek over here on what I've been working on. This is the uh, kit included base. I was looking at the motion picture on Blu-ray and I saw that they had these uh, little lit panels here. I'm going to be painting this. Uh, I've light blocked all this and I've got these uh, masked so that light will pass through. I'm going to build a um, uh, bottom for this out of a sheet styrene and, and attach my LED strip light onto that facing directly up it's going to illuminate all these little panels and I'm going to spray some transparent blue on the back side of those so that uh, when they light they'll look blue and we're going to put our little kit supply decals over that I drilled these holes here to give the little white lights that are around the edges of that, that we saw in the movie it's going to look just like it did in the movie and when it puts out light it's going to actually reflect on the bottom or the, like the belly side so you'll be able to see all the uh, the pearlescent Aztec of the model as it curves under where it's kind of hard to see. Let me turn this little overhead light on here and you'll get a little bit of an idea um, of how that's going to light up. Uh, 
So there's a little bit more light blocking to do on it. I'll probably mask off the inside and paint it from the inside too and just mask those windows. There's a lot of curves here on the top that's hard to get painted and all the little cracks and stuff, but on the back side it's nice and smooth. I also uh, bought some hollow tubing for this made out of brass, which is 3 8 in diameter in case you guys are curious. The kit supplied mounting rod for one, for an odd reason is, is solid, so you're not going to run any wires through that. But if you want to replace it and you're curious about what size that is, it's 3 8 in diameter, outside diameter. Now I'm going to be putting a little bushing down in there on the bottom and in the top of the model of brass, maybe about an inch and a quarter long on the top and the bottom that will allow the model to swivel really nicely on that stand once it's all done. And uh, we're going to paint this all the kind of rust colored brown that we saw in the movie. And like I said, we put the little decals in these windows, get that blue lighting in there, and these are lighting up white. It's going to look really, really cool. And I don't think anybody's ever done that before with that base, so that, that'll be something different. And uh, so that's going to be a wrap for this update, guys, a real quick one. Uh, it's, quicker for, it's easier for me to do these little quick updates so I don't have to spend hours editing it and get something out to you. But uh, I'll be back again tomorrow night with uh, another quick update. And then uh, Sunday I'll put out a full uh, uh, episode with all the updates and some showing more of the highlights of what I've been doing as far as the actual work in between. And uh, we'll get you caught all back up. So hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm having a blast on it. I'm really cranking along. I should be able to put in a full day on it tomorrow and we'll really get things rocking on this thing. So we'll catch up with you then. Happy modeling, guys, and take care. We'll see you uh, in a few hours.